We saw something of this spirit. We shared in the adventure, the excitement, the euphoria of being there. We shared it with the men who bounced across the surface of the moon. Look at the size of that biggie. It is a biggie, isn't it? And the surprise of discovery. We were there too, all of us, watching vicarious explorers. Okay, we're headed that way. You get the tongs, uh, John? Yep. I'll carry the rake. Look at the size of that rock. Can't believe Got it. I can't either. Okay, let's go on back. I am. And the meaning, the significance of an occasion. That too came to us, flashed into our living rooms on our 19-inch window on the universe. We hope that this will be a symbol of what our feelings are, what the feelings of the Apollo program are, and a symbol of mankind that we can live in peace and harmony in the future. There was also pride. They put up the flag and then posed for pictures as any visitor to a foreign place might do. The flag of each mission stood there as a reminder that we had been there, but there was the realization that in truth, it belonged to all the people. There are no boundaries on the moon. The focus was the moon. That's what it was all about. But by reaching up there, we, in a sense, came back here. As one stands and scans a 360 degree panorama of his own, one of the first objects in the dark lunar sky that you see is a bright and beautiful bluish globe that we call Earth. This globe represented to all of us, I think, not only home, but a very fragile place that we have come back and felt that needed not only protection, but understanding. They first went there in 1969. They last left there in late 1972. Between the beginning and the conclusion, they came to feel, to dimly perceive what it was all about, to come to a perspective on the meaning of it all. Poet Archibald MacLeish has said it better than most. To see the Earth as it truly is, small and blue and beautiful, in that eternal silence where it floats, is to see ourselves as riders on the Earth together, brothers who know now they are truly brothers. excitement of the mission, the tension and drama of the splashdown, they remain only in our memories, and in time they'll be replaced in the future by other missions, other memories. The moments of Apollo may be over, but the understanding and the discovery, they go on, and the full meaning, the real meaning, may yet be in the future too. But for now, for the present, the images and the sounds provide meaning enough to each in his own way and to each in his own time. <laughs> 